from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, shots have been fired at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania, with the Secret Service rushing to get him off stage. Trump appeared injured, seen with blood on his face as he quickly left the scene. The Secret Service has since reported that Donald Trump is safe. The White House says US President Joe Biden has been briefed too. The drama unfolded just moments into Trump's speech. Take a look at what happened. Trump has been taken away in a car and the venue is now being evacuated. The rally is ahead of the Republican National Convention, which is set to start tomorrow. The incident unfolded in front of global media. BBC correspondent Gary O'Donnell is there. There are a whole bunch of shots fired a couple of hundred metres away from where we were standing. Maybe six or eight shots in rapid succession. An Israeli airstrike has hit the southern Gaza city Al Mawasi, an Israeli designated safe zone. The attack was an attempt to assassinate Hamas's military commander. The Hamas run health ministry has reported at least 90 deaths and 300 wounded, half women and children. BBC correspondent Nick Beek says if true, it paints a very different picture from what the Israeli military are saying. We were hearing that this was a very specific strike and the phrase being used was that it was only terrorists who were hit. And back home, George Dodson has been named the FMG Young Farmer of the Year. The 22-year-old competed against six other regional finalists in the grand final in Hamilton, which wrapped up last night. And he says it's hard to describe how he's feeling. It's such an incredible competition with such um, deeply rooted history, so... Uh, yeah, just grateful, I think. That's news. In sport, world number one Aaron Routliff and Canadian partner Gabby Dabrowski have fallen short in the women's doubles final at Wimbledon, losing in two set tie breaks. They went toe to toe with champions Katerina Sinyakova and Taylor Townsend, who pulled away to win the second set tie break 7 1, with the Kiwi double faulting on the final point. Routliff has struggled to put her feelings into words. There's something about Wimbledon that makes you like way more emotional than other tournaments. <laughs> Every match we've won, I've just been like crying like a baby. <laughs> and now I guess even when we lose. So Gabby took a chance on me a year ago and it's completely and totally changed my life. And the All Blacks concede their line-out needs work as they head to San Diego to face Fiji after their 24-17 win over England at Eden Park. England lock Maro Itoji had a field day as the tourists snabbed three lineouts against the throw, all before half time, before New Zealand righted the ship in the second spell. That's sport. I'm Chelsea Daniels. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.